So, hello there. Uh, I've done a reinstallment of Windows, so I'm starting off fresh here. Uh, but I thought, why not show you how to install Trucker's MP while I'm, you know, still at it. So, uh, I might as well show you. So, let's just right off the bat head over to Trucker's MP right there. Now, first thing you need to do, if you haven't already, is to create an actual account. Uh, right, so do that first. Once you've uh, once you've made the account, you can go ahead and download it. Okay, uh, so quick mentions before, before I actually download anything. These are the in-game rules, okay? Please do read this, right? I mean... I know you just want to get in and play, but it's just, you need to read it just once, you know, and then it's done. Um, so yeah, please do that. Uh, once you've done, let's download it. So, uh, I'm just going to download that to the desktop. That's finished. So, we have that right here. Let's just open that zip file. And this is the installer. Just extract that. Boom, we have that right here. Install Truckers MP. We double click that. Yes. Okay, now you get the uh, little setup window here. So you can just go and press next. I accept. Next. And this is the installment location for Truckers MP. You can change this if you want, but I suggest having it on the same hard drive that you have the game installed on. Uh, that's my only recommendation. Uh, now for me, that is on the C drive. So I just click next. Uh, right here, you can choose for which games you want to install it for. If you have both EDS2 and ATS, then why not pick both? It's very small, as you can see. So uh, I have both games, so I'm going to just click next. Now it tells you to select your American Truck Simulator directory. So what you're going to do is just find American Truck Simulator. Now, in this case, it's actually installed on my other drive. Uh, I haven't moved it over to my SSD just yet. So I'm just going to find my Steam library. And there I have it. American Truck Simulator. Click OK. Next, I'm going to ask for Eurotruck. I'm going to find that, which is on my SSD uh, just gonna look for Steam uh, Steam apps common and there it is okay next uh, just hit next there if you want a desktop icon to keep that checked uh, next and install boom that was it so we get this icon now uh, we can delete the installment thingies, we don't need those. So now we have Trucker's MP here. So whenever you want to play multiplayer, you need to start the game through this. So go ahead and open that. Now, it's going to ask you to download some stuff. So just hit install available updates and let it download. I'll cut to when it's finished. Alright, so it just downloaded, and now you can see we have launch ATS and launch ATS2. So, let's say I want to play Eurotruck Simulator, we just hit launch Eurotruck, boom, it will load up the game. I'm just going to skip the cutscenes because I don't want to watch them. There you go, and now you log in with the account that you created before. Log in. To play, you have to select the server. Right, so you close that. Right here, where it says none. Get that. Now you have a lot of servers to uh, choose from. Uh, obviously, Europe 2 is the most popular. It always is. Um, so yeah, you can just pop on there if you want to play with the most 
possible people, which I am going to do. Uh, just log in. Boom. You get to select your profile. Now, I do suggest having a specific profile for multiplayer, which I have right here. Defining player MP stands for multiplayer. So I'll just select this. Keep in mind, uh, you cannot add mods uh, when playing multiplayer. <clears throat> Obvious to some, but yeah, just like to mention it. Right now, when you're getting into the world, it will say connecting. And yeah, there you go. Connection established. Established. It says right there. And there. Uh, this is your tab. If you press tab and press right click, you get the mouse cursor. Uh, right here, you can see players nearby. Uh, oh, one just popped up right there. Uh, but yeah, and right here you have some settings. You can look through these if you want to. Uh, so yeah, just press OK. Wait with that one. And uh, well, there you go. You're in multiplayer. So uh, that's it really. Now you can uh, enjoy your game with other people. And convoy if you want. Uh, the biggest problem with convoys in this game is that you basically can't find the similar or the exact same job unless you're the exact same level and everything. Uh, so yeah, that's it. If you have further questions, uh, maybe another tutorial idea, then uh, comment. And if you have questions about this one, then of course comment about that too. I will do my best to answer. So yeah, bye for now.